Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Breen, and I'd like to welcome you to my website. Did you know that researchers from Yale University in 2013 published a study in the American Journal of Public Health that estimated up to 90,000 women ages 50 to 59 have died unnecessarily from heart disease as a result of avoiding estrogen because they were afraid that hormones cause cancer. You may or may not know this, but estradiol reduces a woman's risk of heart disease by 50%. And for every woman that dies of breast cancer, nine actually die of heart disease. Just this morning, I had a 50-year-old woman in my office actually to notarize some documents. And she happened to be going through menopause. She was having a lot of hot flashes and night sweats. And I asked her, who's your doctor that's gonna prescribe your hormones? And her response was, I don't wanna get cancer. The goal of this video is to answer the following question. Do hormones cause cancer in women? Because that's what a lot of you are being told by your doctors and reading online. And in doing so, I'm not gonna give you my opinion because my opinion's not important. What I'm gonna do is present the medical facts based on peer reviewed published studies in the most respected medical journals in the world. That's what's called evidence-based medicine and what each of you should be using to make your healthcare decisions. So let's see what the science says. And for the sake of time, I'm only gonna go through 12 of the 85 published studies that I have on my desktop, but I think you'll get the point. First article was published in the Journal of National Cancer Institute in 2008, and they looked at hormone therapy and the risk of breast cancer in BRCA1 mutation carriers. They concluded that amongst postmenopausal women with a BRCA1 mutation, hormone therapy was not associated with increased risk of breast cancer, and in this population, it was associated with a decreased risk. The second study was from the Medical Journal of Australia. They looked at hormone replacement therapy after the diagnosis of breast cancer. They concluded that hormone replacement therapy used for menopausal symptoms by women treated for primary invasive breast cancer is not associated with an increased risk of breast cancer recurrence or a shortened life expectancy. This third study is from the Journal of Reproductive Medicine published in 2004. They looked at hormone therapy for women after breast cancer. They concluded that the breast cancer recurrence rates in women who used hormones was 10.7%, and in women who didn't take hormones, the recurrence rate was 20.3%. So there was double the risk in women who actually didn't take hormones. This next study was published, and they looked at estrogen replacement therapy after breast cancer. And they again concluded that the use of estrogen replacement therapy of breast cancer survivors with tumors of generally good prognosis was not associated with increased breast cancer events compared to those who didn't use estrogen, even over a long follow-up period. This next study was published in the Journal of Cancer in 2002, and they looked at estrogen replacement therapy for menopausal women with a history of breast carcinoma. They concluded that estrogen replacement therapy did not compromise disease-free survival in select patients who were treated previously for localized breast carcinoma. This study was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, and they looked at estrogen replacement therapy after localized breast cancer. And again, they concluded that estrogen replacement therapy does not seem to increase breast cancer, cancer events in this subset of patients previously treated for localized breast cancer. This next study was published in the International Journal of Gynecology and Obstetrics, and they looked at estrogen replacement therapy in breast cancer survivors. They concluded that breast cancer survivors did not have their out outcome adversely affected by estrogen replacement therapy during an observational period of 24 to 44 months. So why all the confusion? Clearly, we have tons of data that show that hormones don't cause cancer and actually reduce a woman's risk of recurrence if they've had breast cancer. The largest study in the world, the Women's Health Initiative, which looked at hormone replacement therapy in 16,000 women, was stopped prematurely in 2002 because of a slight increase in the risk of breast cancer. And as a result, they concluded and told the public that hormones cause cancer. What they didn't share with the public was that they used a drug called Premarin, which is estrogen from a horse, and a drug called Provera, which is a synthetic progesterone. What they didn't give women was bioidentical estradiol and progesterone, which is what the female ovary makes. The analogy I like to make is this. Imagine researchers decided to figure out if giving babies breast milk is healthy. So they take 16,000 babies, and instead of giving them milk from the mother, they give them cow's milk. And what they found out is when you give a baby cow's milk, they develop asthma, eczema, and all sorts of other allergies. And from that, they concluded that milk is bad for babies. 
But what they didn't tell you is that you, if you give a baby milk from the mother, it works absolutely perfectly. And that's essentially what researchers of the WH trial did. They gave women estrogen from a horse and a synthetic progesterone, and they figured out that when you give women a synthetic progesterone and estrogen from a horse, it causes cancer. And from that, they concluded that hormones cause cancer. What they didn't tell you is that if you give a woman bioidentical estradiol and progesterone, it absolutely works perfectly, and you get a reduction in your risk of cancer. So when your doctor or friend or family member tells you that you shouldn't take hormones because they cause cancer, what I want you to do is share this video with them and ask them to produce the studies to support what they're telling you. I hope you found this video useful. Have a great day.